So I want to talk to you about creating your own path. Um, so many times I have felt constrained or restricted by the paths and plans of others to do something a certain way, to go to school, to uh, get a job, all of these things which aren't inherently bad. But I find what is bad is the insistence to sticking to the program. You don't have to stick to any program. The only program you have to stick to, if you decide to, is the one that you create for yourself. And realize that every belief you have has been conditioned in your mind. And lately, as I've been challenging those beliefs, I've come up against these invisible barriers, these invisible walls that haven't been put there by myself, that have not been consciously chosen, but instead subliminally implanted in my mind. And so how do we fix that? How do we change that? Well, first, becoming aware of what those beliefs are, of what thoughts come up around certain situations, around certain things. Growing up in a repressed Catholic culture, I find that when um, an intimate scene in a show or movie comes on, there is this, has been, not there is, that there has been a sensation of guilt that comes up, a, a discomfort almost. And that's not normal, that's not natural. And that's something that I'm currently working on expunging. And that belief has been indoctrinated into me, not by choice, uh, by well-intentioned people, I would say, for the most part, family, friends, parents. However, they too are the product of programming. And so what you need to do is become aware of the beliefs that inhabit your mind in response to certain situations, to consciously challenge them, and then decide for yourself what you now want to believe, what you now want to bring to fruition in your external reality. So it all starts from here and moves outward. You get to decide and dictate what that reality looks like. Imagine creating your own world and doing that by being the conscious author of your own life, your own beliefs. And then there's the subconscious mind, which I'm working on learning more about. And with this, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the programming that happens when your conscious isn't there to get in the way. And so one way I've learned how to do it is by putting on affirmations while, while I'm asleep. And there's certain binaural patterns or frequencies you can put on as well, from what I understand, that will further program these new beliefs into your mind. And from what I hear, and I'm very much a novice at this process, um, you, you listen to that for 21 days, three weeks straight, and then that begins to culminate your mind. One thing I'll be aware of too is the accounts you follow, the content you consume, the media that you read on a consistent daily basis, the songs you listen to, as these are all forms of programming. Billboards, advertisements, all these things constantly reinforce. You know, in sales, there is touch points. So the first time you see something or you're, you're pitched something, you might not be like, no, you, there's, there's a great deal of resistance. But over time, it wears you down. And you start to think, well, maybe this can be a solution for me. Now imagine that approach taken with other forms of media that isn't well-intentioned, that isn't good for you. The foods you eat, all these things. And so when it comes to forging your own life, it means being in charge of your own decisions and what you choose to consciously consume. And this is not a, a one-time quick fix thing. This is an ongoing process that re requires iteration. And so in this video, I just want to urge you and prompt you to really take an audit of what you believe. Don't believe what I believe or what I'm telling you in this video even. Question it. Ask yourself, is this what I feel to be the case? And challenge those notions regardless of who they come from or what they are. And with this, I hope you can create a better future for yourself and those you care about. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.